Yeah. Oh, this was so crazy. I I stopped like um, I don't know why, but that day I didn't drink a lot of water. Oh, so you were like in shock or something? No, no. So like um, dehydrated. Yeah, yeah. Two days ago, I woke up right, and already yeah, the room spinning. Oh, fuck. and I'm like I'm like because it's happened to my dad before. Yeah, and when that happened, he had a stroke. So when when I woke up, I'm I'm in the apartment by myself. Oh shit, that's the, you're bad. not there. You're not here. So yeah. I'm like. Fuck, fuck. I'm panicking. I'm, I'm having a panic attack. The room is spinning. I try to sit up like this. It's just getting worse. So I, I quickly search like, oh, well, what, what to do if the room is spinning? And then it's like low blood pressure or like dehydration. So I'm mm. like, fuck. I remember the last night I was like, should I get water or should I just go to sleep? And I was like, oh, I'm just go to sleep. Damn, Bro. so you were that thirsty, fam? Yeah. This guy shrivel up like a raisin no, the real shit. <laughs> no, it was crazy because I was like, no way. So I just chugged down as much water as I could. Yeah, yeah. And yo, if you if you do that long enough, you yeah. can have like hallucination. Yeah, oh, really? So I remember there's this one time I was, I think I was like grade six at the time. Mm. But the only thing I drank was like Coca-Cola. Yeah, so I, I only drank soda that day. I didn't have any water until fuck until after so i had a nap because yeah. usually i take a nap like during the day and prior to this only one coca-cola in my system Holy smokes. so i went to sleep and during the dream it was like remember that that story i told you about i had a night terror and it's okay. a reoccurring night terror mm, yeah, yeah. so i started feeling as if there were these people that they they were observing me mm. they're observing me so but man. not through, not through like a body. I was like in like a capsule. Whoa. I was like, yeah, yeah. I felt like I was in a, a factory and people were observing me. Whoa. Yeah. And the taken, I was like grade six at the time. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't watched The Matrix. I haven't like watched any like sci-fi shit. This is just my my whole vision, I guess. Mm, yeah. And they're, they're saying like, uh, should we wake him up? Should we wake him up? Oh, yeah. And I was fucking, I was like, yo, what's going on? What's going on? And I was trying to wake up. I was trying to, I couldn't wake up. It was like I was aware in my dream. Uh, so sleep paralysis? I, nah, it, was, it wasn't like that though. <laughs> it was like, because sleep paralysis, you're awake. But I was stuck in my dream. So it was like lucid, I guess? I don't know. I really don't know. Man. I don't know what it is. I think it's called a night terror. Okay, I think yeah, that's yeah. what it's called. But it was because I didn't drink any water and my, my brain was like going crazy. Yeah. No, water is super important, bro. Like, I got like scared, like, oh shit. Like, I thought I was going to have a stroke or something. That's fucked, bro. Yeah. You have to make sure every single night I, I drink hello, hello water mm -hmm. to the point where I have to pee yeah. like at 3 a.m. But every single time, I think, because I, I had my Lola sleeping over one day mm -hmm. and I would always wake up to pee and I never really realized how much I go out to pee. I don't know if you hear me. No. But I never really realized it until like somebody was in the crib and I had to be quiet for them. I would wake up, pee, come back, sleep. Oh, wake okay. up, pee, come back. And I think they did it like five times. Really? The only person that I know that does that is like my Lolo. Like really? he'll, he'll like wake up perfect time, like 2 a.m., bop, go to washroom and I'll hear him. 4 a.m., bop, bop, go to washroom. 6 a.m., bop, bop. But it's not good because I, because, because my, my sleep is like, oh, it's, it's like thin. cut. I guess, I guess, yeah. Maybe but, too much water in your system then. I don't know, but I, I can tell like low key, yeah. I'm about to have a dream where I piss my pants. So I make oh, sure, yeah, make sure I just go. Yeah. So I wake up, I stop myself from like peeing. Uh huh. Damn. Because I had some dreams like, you know, you, there's some dreams like you're ready to let it loose, but mm. you're trying to force it out. <laughs> oh, like a wet dream? No, not a wet dream. Oh, like, okay. Like peeing. But like I had a wet dream and I like woke up like, fuck, bro. Like this shit, like I looked down, I'm like, oh, fuck. And I, and I, <laughs> yo, yo. And the crazy thing is, I remember it so vividly. Like I'll remember it like, okay, that's why it happened. <laughs> it, that wasn't like, I think it was in um, fucking first for uh first year uni that my first wet dream. that was your first time no no it was before i had a girlfriend so like i i've had like not no experience nothing. oh you're doing like no no and november yeah, yeah, yeah and i was like and i was like imagining what it would be like you know what i mean <laughs> that's just yo crazy times bro crazy times <laughs> bro you know how um you don't know not november is actually bad for you that's just not yeah, good for you, you told me you told me it, it's it's because it's, you're supposed to release yeah no you're meant to like yeah, actually yeah. do it i have a theory mm. i think this is true Every single one of like our 
almost like natural urges to do something mm -hmm. is real. Like we're supposed to follow it. Yeah, yeah. It's just our outlets to try and get it mm. aren't the best. So let's say you have a craving for something unhealthy. Yeah, yeah. It's not necessarily you're craving something unhealthy. You're craving something to eat mm. that has nutrients that you think would fill you. Yeah. So what happens is all of these desserts or all of these like drinks, mm. anything that we consume, yeah. it check marks the boxes and fills out like what our brain thinks we need mm. but it's not because it's artificial yeah it's manufactured it's not natural okay okay low-key every single time I, I go on like a good diet mm -hmm. or when i'm when i'm eating right yeah it always gets ended by like a like a holiday oh like uh like a thanksgiving you're eating bad thanksgiving again? fucks me up <laughs> christmas me up. See, they put that there maybe for that reason. It's like, fuck, they, a guy is having a nice diet. Nah, let's cancel that shit right away. <laughs> nah, fam. So I, I, I found this out recently that every single one of the holidays, we talked about holidays before. All the time. This one's different. Mm -hmm. They say every single holiday that we celebrate is celebrating one of the seven deadly sins. Every single holiday. Okay. Think about it. So the, the easiest one, Valentine's Day, celebrates the sin of lust. Lust, okay, okay. Christmas celebrates, here, I'm gonna show you, bro. Okay, let me see. Check this. Christmas. It's a whole list. What does Christmas Okay, boom. Easy one, ready? Valentine's Day uh -huh. represents lust yeah. for obvious reasons. Now, Thanksgiving, that celebrates the sin of uh, gluttony. Gluttony, yeah, yeah, you're because you're eating. Because you're eating a lot. Mm -hmm. You're overeating. You're taking too much of the more than you need. Yeah. Now, Christmas, what do you think that is? Christmas. Greed? Greed. Yeah. Overconsumption and excess. Okay, okay. Right? Wanting more of something. That makes sense. We're celebrating gifts. Mm -hmm. We're celebrating gifts. We're not really even celebrating like the birth of Christ because people yeah. are so focused on the gifts Fast. and shit. Now, Easter. Easter. This isn't this one's interesting. I don't know. The holiday of Easter, what Easter. what sin would it be? Easter? I don't know. Check this out. This one gets deep. Okay. So they say it's envy because the Romans were jealous of Jesus, so they murdered him. Oh. It's crazy. Shit. So, St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's It's sloth because people get blacked out drunk. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Now, Halloween is mm. what? It's wrath. Okay. So, scaring and hurting people for fun. With masks, it's wrath. Oh, so every single one of the holidays is like a yeah, a yeah, seven yeah. deadly sin. So you don't like technically it's like it's bad to celebrate those holidays. No, but isn't it just weird? Oh, there's one more. Sorry, mm. there's a missing one. The 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 sin of pride. Okay, what's that? Oh, uh, nah, nah. We're not even gonna say that. But Independence Day. Okay. Independence Day. Yeah, it's yeah like makes sense. Celebrating. Makes sense. Yeah. Think that you're all that, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Damn. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, fam. So I don't I don't know. It's just weird that it lines up to every single one. Mm -hmm. Cause even St. Patrick's Day is like, yeah, what are we really we're celebrating drinking? Drinking, yeah. Why are we why do I you never, celebrate? This I never shit? really understood why people celebrated St. Patrick's Day. But I guess Is it even about the saint? Like what does this saint have to do with I don't know. You know what I mean? Go look it up. So Cause Saint Saint Patrick is a saint, and would you, why would you be celebrating? Yeah, I don't know. Let's see, let's see. Saint Patrick's Day origin. So Saint Patrick's Day originally celebrated in Ireland with religious services and feasts in honor of Saint Patrick, one of Ireland's patron saints. But it doesn't say anything about like alcohol. No media. Media plays a big part too. Cause I remember I seen something where it's like, did you know like um schizophrenia mm. is like different in every country just because the media and stuff? No way. Yeah. What do you mean? So how's so, it different? It's so, like so um uh say in America and Canada. Yeah. What uh people have really noticed is that when you're hearing these voices in your head, it's more of negative stuff. Yeah. So it's like um what do you call this? It's telling you to uh harm yourself. It's telling you to mm. stuff. All all stuff like that, right? But you take um a person in India. What they noticed is that the it's like giving them good energy. The voices, no way. so like they're making them laugh. They're tell uh, what do you call this? It's no like negative stuff Word. in India. Yeah, so that's what like the media portrays. Because obviously, um, our culture say some guy is autistic. Mm -hmm. That we're gonna like we don't like uh, what do you call this? Put them on a pedestal. But in other countries, they're like, oh yeah, this is a gift. Yo, right? that's like that's like Mid Somar because Mid Somar yeah. they they saw the people that were special. Yeah, and then they used them for like arts and everything like that. Exactly, like, they praised them for it. Yeah, because I, I seen a lot of comments too. It's like American culture like uh, feeds the illness because of all the stuff it does, like the food you eat, the 
you know? Oh, it makes it worse for yeah, them. Yeah, it makes it worse for them. But like in, go to India with that same illness, you're getting worship. Like that's a gift. Mm. You know what I mean? Shit. So, it, so is it really, do you think it's a spiritual thing? You know what's fucked? Okay, yeah. so what if, what if the reason is like that? Mm-hmm. Theory. You know those PSAs? Especially the bullying ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're brainwashed from the start, fam. Mm. We see all those PSAs of the bullying stuff. And, we and it's, it's it's the fake talking like, you're no good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Billy, you suck. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Shit like that. I told you. No, but that's like, isn't that in a sense like schizophrenia? Because it's the voices. And it's like Low key. almost every single one of those PSAs about bullying mm-hmm. was the same thing of the kids by himself and he hears negative voices around him. Mm. I mean, it's a good way to represent it. Yeah. But it's not going to tell you like they people think that it's like the kids. Yeah, uh, but like the other kids. What if it's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like showing you what... I get what you're could, saying. You know what I mean? It's I like you prepping you type of shit. Yeah, yeah. See? I told you, Because pre- everything's prepping. Mm-hmm. It's scary. It's scary. Because what happens if... Let's say... Let's say I have a, I have a master plan, right? Uh-huh. And then I... No, you talked about this before. What? Because you know how... You said that that rock paper scissors thing. Oh yeah! Like if, if you keep telling yourself uh, like or making symbols of rock, the other person will pick rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So if you do that right now, let's mm-hmm. say, let's say we just like look around anything that's normal in our life. Mm-hmm. If we don't question it, we're just gonna think it's just another yeah, yeah. like blow in the wind or whatever mm-hmm. it may be. Yeah, yeah. But if we look at it a little bit more differently mm-hmm. and then start to see things for what it could be. Then you start to see certain patterns in people. Because in the 48 Laws of Power, that's what a lot of people learn from the book is all of these tendencies and patterns of people that are trying to get something from you yeah, or yeah. using their power against another person. Yeah. So once you realize like, oh, he's using me in this situation mm-hmm. because it benefits in that way, or he's playing a part on, of this side so that it can benefit later on, yeah. then you see everything differently. Then it becomes like, the world isn't what you think it is. Like, yeah. It shows you another filter of it. Mm-hmm. See, people are different though because it's like, I don't think they'll, that's too much thinking for them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I, I seen uh, Bobby Lee also talk about something. He was like, um, an interviewer asked him, is like, oh, do you know how much money you have? And he's mm-hmm. like, no, I don't. He's like, I don't know what I pay for my mortgage. I don't know what I pay for my car. And it's like, he doesn't want to know that stuff. But just, why? Just because it's like, if he wa- if he looks at it and he uh, he sees a low number, he's gonna get depressed. So mm-hmm. he literally told his accountant, he's like, 15 years ago, he's like, don't tell me ever how much money I made. Because you don't want to know what was like. Because he doesn't want to live uh, always checking his bank account. You know what I mean? Like, with, if you didn't know the number, you can live your life. Word. So, I guess so. You that's know what true. I mean? So it's two different sides. You know what? That's true. Because if if you were told like, boom, you have a mil, Yo, if mm-hmm. you take it into this perspective, yeah. let's say you were told how much money you would make in your life. Yep. Like not how much money you have, but how much money in total you would make in you your would life. You live so different. You live so different. What if you would just like blow all of your money yeah. now because later you know like, oh, I'm going to get a lot more later. So it's almost like a a false... No, but even if you do... See, but would, it it, r- would it fail? Yeah, it would probably. But it, why? Uh, because like you would, you would tap you think your you car. You would go over. You, <laughs> you, you, you would go your, over what you think you're gonna. Yeah. Think? You would tap your car. You're like, oh fuck, and decline. What the hell? But I mean, if you still know, let's say like the future holds that you make two hundred million. Mm-hmm, yeah. But right now you only have like let's say one million, yeah. not one hundred ninety nine. Mm. So would you start just spending your one million willy nilly? And is that bad too? It's not, but I think it's like you can only start that challenge really if you already have like a mill. And then like mm. you know money like you have passive amounts of income coming in. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of factors. I don't think so like a normal person just has a million can start spending. Obviously it'll run out, right? Yeah. There are too many factors. Cause Bobby Lee, he's already rich, he has passive income coming in, but he's also doing a lot. He's working. Mm. He's working all the time. So it's like he knows like you know, you would have a, a sense. Okay, question for you. Yeah. Knowing what you know about money right now, mm-hmm. would you accept like a big lump sum of, of money that could fuck up your life? Let's say like, mm. like if I were, were to give you shit, like like I said, a hundred million, yeah. would you take it? And do you think you're mentally prepared for it? Mm. I don't think I'm mentally prepared, but I would take that shit. <laughs> like, anyone, I don't anyone, know anyone would take would, it. Anyone, yeah. But but would you would you second guess it because you know it might be detrimental to you probably not you bro. wouldn't second guess <laughs> probably not some guy some guy was like 
uh, some guy's like, yo, money doesn't buy you happiness. And then another guy would be like, yo, come on, just say, give me the money. I'll show you how it makes you happy. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. At the same time, though, me knowing like how people are and how mm. like lives change. Yeah. If I'm happy right now. Yeah, you would, you, would you want to add something to it to change mm, your happiness? That's a good question. But like, what's the what's the lose though? Are you happy right now? Yeah. But I would still take the 100 mil. <sighs> See, this, here's the thing. <laughs> no, it's because people don't realize this. Yeah. You can't go backwards. You can never mm. go back. So you experiencing things off of like, you bought a new iPhone. Mm -hmm. That's just not going to mean shit to you. Mm. You would have to buy like a boat. For you to feel differently. Okay, so like there's peaks of happiness. You can't, you can't go backwards. Mm, you're you can't right, go you're backwards, right. You know what I mean? So you being happy right now, mm -hmm. would you take it knowing that your happiness might be at risk? Do you, do you think you have enough maturity or like, uh, <laughs> I guess, <laughs> you know what I mean though? Yeah, yeah, no, I get it. I, I, feel like, I feel like if I do take it, I have to be able to, I don't know, set boundaries on myself. For sure. Because if, if I just do shit and just keep spending, Mm -hmm. I feel like he's gonna fuck me up. Yeah, you definitely need to hire an account or something. Mm -hmm. But like, see, at the same time, it's like, yeah, you, you're happy right now, but you would get more happy with the boat. Okay, now you get more happy, but I don't know. It mm -hmm. really depends on the person, how mature you are. Yeah, I don't think I would want to know. M money does change people, though. I seen, oh, I seen a, a guy create an app. Yeah, it yeah. was literally for, um, it shows other people that you're on live with a thousand people watching you. Oh, so, shit. so he made this only for the purpose of like, oh, how will people treat me different if they see I'm on live with a thousand people, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's so smart because it's um, the the comments uh, are AI generated mm. and whatever the, the live hears or sees, it will generate a bunch of different comments based on what it sees and hears. No way. So, so if a girl says, oh, live, uh, am I, do I look good today? A bunch of random comments. Yeah, you Yo, look good. You look good. So it's fake. Yeah. So, so he went out in LA, I think. Yeah. And he went to pool parties. Girls, he just said, yo, guys, I'm on live. Whoa, yo, that's finesse. Whoa, you have 40K people watching you? Like, yo, let, let me get, like, close to you and stuff like that. Yo, you can <laughs> pretend you're, like, Kai Sinatra. Yeah, that's you what can I'm just saying. pretend you're sick. And then I remember he went to a bar. Yeah. And then, uh, I mean, a club. And uh, he showed the manager, yo, I have 100K people watching me right now. The manager's like, yo, you're VIP. Yo, that, that changes the game. It changes the game. Yo, you can get into anywhere. You can, like, but it's fake though. Like, that's so crazy. But how would they know? They wouldn't they know. They wouldn't know. It's an app. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, it's crazy. Shout out that guy. I know a bunch of you guys are going to fucking start no, downloading people are going to start doing that. Because <laughs> yeah. I think, I think, let's say the moment you do that, mm -hmm. it starts to become real too because other yeah. people like start hopping onto it. Because even though you have fake bots, let's say you have bots. There's going to be people that jump on because of a number or yep. because you're solidified as favorable mm -hmm. or people like to watch you. That means you would want to watch him too. You know yeah. what I mean? See, and, and it tricks you. It, no like, fact. It makes you think like, okay, maybe I should do it because of them. Yeah. And like in, a crowd mentality. And in this day and age, like um, your hierarchy, if you have numbers, you're put above people. You know what I mean? Which, yeah. is, which is fucked, but obviously it works. I know. Yeah. I think, um, I, I, I don't know. Like, it, let's say, let's say one day everybody has like a lot of followers no not followers but like influence let's say okay. let's say too many people have too much influence mm -hmm. how would that change the <laughs> dynamic of like who's more yeah influential let's would say, we look to the normal person then is that possible though like i don't think influencers are hopping on tiktok and like oh yo they're praising the nine to five life now that's what i'm saying so yeah. let's say everybody was an influencer mm -hmm. Would we look to somebody else that's doing things that aren't the regular influencer lifestyle because mm. there's too much of one? Yeah. Because usually we follow somebody because they're unique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if there's too much of a quote unquote, just like an Instagram influence, I'm talking about like the Bryce Hall, like the man that they're just famous because they're famous type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they don't, they're not famous for like really, what they yeah. do. They're just famous because they're famous. Now, if there's a lot of those people, yeah. would we start looking at regular people and then they become influential? So is it like a paradox? Probably. So they're famous, but their time ends because there's too much of them. Yeah, and then the whole flip just if, switches. Yeah, it flips over to yeah. what's not popular and then that becomes popular because 
the other shit is is oversaturated. Or a bunch of people get influence and just God just comes down. Be <laughs> like, nah, uh, there's actually too many people with influence. I'm the real God. Like, I have all the influence over all of people. Over everybody. Yeah, because that's the that's the real influencer right there. That was the first influencer. Loki Jesus was a was a rock star. Bro. He was the first. If you think of yeah, if you think about it, he, he really had everybody yes. following him. And imagine you had so many haters him. at the same time. Oh yeah, they hated on Jesus crazy. <laughs> You know, yo. So I had a conversation with with a with a homie one time, uh -huh. and he was pressing me because I like Kanye. Okay. And obviously, like, there's things to not like about Kanye, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is fair. But then he was he was like really pressing me. He was like, "Yo, after after all of the stuff with Kanye, like, mm -hmm. I I stopped listening to him. I don't I don't praise him as no go blah blah. Yeah. Like he's shit this and that because of what he was saying this and that. Right? Like I I get you." Yeah. And then I said, I said a bar. I'm like, yo, you know, Jesus was blasphemous. Like people saw him as blasphemous because he was. Why? Why? Because he said he was the son of God. Oh, okay. Okay. And people didn't believe it. And people didn't believe him. So it's only until everybody started believing it, yeah. then it changes everyone. Mm. So I don't know. I think like there's a point where somebody's so far on one side that you can't understand them. Mm -hmm. And then once everybody, once like, a couple people start joining. Yeah. More people like start the joining. Thing. Then it becomes, yeah, like the marathon thing. Then it becomes a, okay, I see because other people see. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But it's never the first person, you know? It's yeah. never just like by themselves, then everybody realizes. Mm -hmm. Like it takes numbers, it takes strangers, it takes yeah. like the public to, I guess, realize what you have to say. Yeah. And imagine you're in Kanye shoes, like everybody thinks you're a weirdo. Like you're mm -hmm. waiting for that first person to come on your side so everyone can so i yeah. know i know once everyone switches back to like if it ever happens like oh yeah kanye was actually right the media is portraying the satanic shit mm. and like it will f like come that feeling that he gets probably amazing i know like it was it would be the biggest i told you so moment like you guys never believed me you just tried to cancel <laughs> me but look yeah you know what i mean because i think i think that's how it always happens it always, Lo happens, Logi like always that. happens like that yeah i i wonder how it would be for you to be like the first follower of something mm, like some, something feeling. to have yo to have like no faith yeah yeah, yeah. like nobody has any faith in somebody <laughs> But yeah. you were the only person that had faith in no, that. No, even even you go uh, a little lower, uh, discovering an artist that's that uh, not a lot of people know about, and now they start yeah, listening. Yeah, like that type of shit. I'm like, yo, I put you on that. Yeah. Who was it for you? So Fago, I I discovered him like 2000 oh, plays. Oh, Fago, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he became you know crazy. I was like, wow, this is the first artist like I actually believed in. I think mine was Billie Eilish, but I don't even listen. <laughs> I'm not even that big of a fan anymore. Yeah, yeah. Anymore, but back in the day, uh -huh. I was a huge fan. Oh, uh, so another thing, uh, Canadian artist. The weekend yeah he posted some weird stuff on his story did you see this no 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 okay it's already like because i thought he was going through some shit like a spiritual battle too but i think he's already converted to the next side so look if, if you see on his story he's already posting weird shit right but there's this one this is on his story yeah. yeah look blood sign the contract nah Louis. this is the page master right yeah the movie yeah look boom takes it signs it but why would he post some shit like that? I mean, know? he's watching the movie, but he's posting specifically he's po that scene. That as scene, the blood scene with the contract. And Selena Gomez, there was a leaked video of mm. her saying she sold her soul. Look, just nah. listen. Just listen. So her first record ever. Nah, that's fucked. Leaked. That shit leaked. The thing is, she could be saying it as a joke, but we know it's not a <laughs> yeah, joke, bro. The contract is in her hands. We know it's just not a joke, fam. And then when you when you manifest it like that, and yeah. you're like, you actually believe that's how it is. Mm. That's what happens. Yeah, fam. That's <laughs> and we don't even gotta. We don't. I don't even want to talk about Doja Cat. That she's t she's doing way nah, too much. I can't much. even listen to Do Doja Cat right now. She's doing too much for to, for people to talk about her. Like mm. it's so obvious. It's fucked, bro. But yeah, you know the the Nickelodeon theory. The oh no! How the Nickelodeon satanic? Nick? No, no, no. What? Yo. <laughs> so what? Nickelodeon. The word itself. You okay. know what it actually means. Bag that. What the fuck does Nickelodeon mean? No, bag don't that tell shit, me. bro. Nickelodeon. What does it actually mean? Like, where did that word come from? That whole word, or yeah, is it like split into guess parts? Guess what it means in Latin. No, it's uh, fuck. Satan. So no. Okay. Nickelodeon, in Latin, translated to English, Nickelodeon means 
Yeah. I don't care about God. No, stop. That's what it means. Stop. I care, but yeah. that's what it means. What? No way in life. Is that fucked? No way. So check this out. People are putting it in like the Google Translate yeah, and translating yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, I'll show you a video, yeah, fam. Yeah, fucking put that Google Translate, bro. Check this shit out. What? So look, look, look. That's the most random shit. Put Nickelodeon. Okay, so it is split up. So you have to split yeah, up yeah, the words. The, it, it's different words. Okay. I don't know anything. And then look, look. Nick and then make the space. Lodi. Fuck. Yo, yo. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. No. And if you really- But why? See, it, it, it boggles my mind because mm. like, where would that word come from? Yeah. You get me? Like, where would that word come from? And then why would they make that the name of the, the yeah. kid's channel, bro? And you already know, like, um, Nickelodeon, like, they take kid actors and put them into Hollywood and then ask... And then I make don't know it like, why, yeah. but, like, all the kid actors turn out to be, like, bad after. I, I don't know. I, that, I think that just has to do with, like, too much uh, spotlight yeah. at an early age. But still, oh, my God. Nickelodeon, bro? Not Nickelodeon. That's crazy, First right? the Oreo, not Nickelodeon. Y'all can't even say Nickelodeon Fuck no more, that. bro. I know, bro. That's tough. Because a lot of this stuff, like, we just pass it off as nothing, and then we realize it later. Mm -hmm. And is it too late? Like, fuck, I already watched hell of that shit. You know what I mean? I, uh, I took part. Is that bad, though? I don't think... Ah, oh, it's too... I don't think it is too late. Because at the same time, it's like, you can always get forgiven by God, but at the same time, it's like, is it too late in our head that they're already programmed like that? Is that yeah. where evil comes from? So you think it's... um. You think it's evil because we're taught evil. Yeah. Like, subconsciously taught evil. Because is that the theory? Mm -hmm. So... The theory is we become evil because we're taught evil. Yeah, it's yeah. not because we're born evil. Yeah. I, yeah, I believe in that. Damn. Because what else, what else are you supposed to be ta taught? Like, I feel like we're all born pure. Yeah, because I was talking to my, my boy Lucio. Yeah. He's a hairstylist. And then he was, he was telling me how, like, all of the countries before, especially, like, the Philippines. Mm -hmm. For example, he's from Brazil. The colonizers came and all of the natives, they had everything they needed mm -hmm. they had enough food they had enough water they had shelter anything you, you can imagine mm -hmm. fruitful they have to worry about anything yeah it was only until the colonizers came and they got greedy and wanted to take what they had mm -hmm. and then what did they want they wanted fucking all the gold that they had and shit and guess what happens to the natives They're like yo yeah go ahead take yeah, it yeah. we don't we don't care you want you want more gold mm -hmm. But they were giving them stuff that, like, technology they'd never seen before. Yeah. And Lucio was telling me, like, there was a, they were trading mirrors. mirrors. So that was one of the first things they traded was a mirror because they'd never seen their reflection before. Ooh. Thought it was some, like, uh, magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can imagine, let's say you're, you're in the wilderness, lived there your whole life, uh -huh. and then somebody gives you and a you mirror for the first time. <laughs> and you, you see yourself. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. That That's sense. crazy. And then... I guess that's just what happens to every single colony. Eventually, greed just like overtakes it. Mm -hmm. And it's up to people to realize the greed is taking yeah. place for there to be a difference. Yeah. Because we're just going to take part because the system is built on greed. 100, yeah. So you have to take part to survive now. Mm -hmm. And then that's kind of like what I was telling you before, where I want to like, eventually, I just want to buy my own spot, yeah. live in my own land and make my own food. Because... Mm. Isn't it crazy? This is so crazy to me that we live in the 21st century with so much more technology, but we can't self-sustain each other. Yeah, that that's like... We're going backwards. Mm -hmm. It's only popularized in the third world, like I said before. Like, you wouldn't see... Uh, if you're rich in this one, you're... Yeah, we, Uber Eats, Uber Eats. Just like... You, no rich person is like, oh, let me start a farm and produce for myself. Because I feel like... You know why? That's more work. It is more work. Yeah. I, I, I agree. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's the thing. But I think once that happens, then you don't have to rely on anything. Like yeah. you can you can live stress free because yeah. what you're stressing about is just your survival. Because mm -hmm. if you think like we waste so much time on on leisure, yeah. on social media, doing like bullshit, if we just focus on net like literally just our survival, making our shelter, simple life, cooking like, our food, life. finding out like uh, where to gather things. And focus on even arts and crafts. Who, who knows? Yeah. We wouldn't have enough time to be depressed. We yeah. wouldn't have enough time to have anxiety because we're working on shit. That's why, that's why mans in the third world countries, they're happy as hell because they've simplified life. There's no, there's no time to, to fucking a, be depressed. To a point where it's like you have enough, 
that that enough is already good enough. But now, like here, we want it all. So we're depressed that we don't have it. Even yeah. though, look around. Fuck, we have an apartment, fam. Like, fuck, we should be happy, mm. you know? Oh, and I got, you know, you said um sometimes you walk around and like, you think that homeless man is God. Bro, yeah, 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 you what? worked on you, <laughs> bro. That shit was, it's real, bro. No, yo, I literally turned back. <laughs> so this um, so I was walking. I had, I think it was tahinis. I yeah. had a shawarma in my hand, and I was like, um, this person uh, just yelled out, "Oh, I'm I'm homeless and hungry, right?" And I walked past them. I'm like thinking, I'm like, and I think about the podcast. <laughs> I man, I like, you. what if that was God? What? Why did he specifically say that I'm hungry right now and I have a food in my hand? So I'm like, fuck, let me go back. <laughs> So I went back to Tahiti's about my own shit and I gave that to him. Like that was I was like, this might be God. <laughs> no, bro, because you never know. Like some, yeah. there's certain things that pop up in your life that might might very well be a test, bro. <laughs> exactly. Might very be a <laughs> And then it's it's judging you yeah. now because you can make a choice right there. I know. You can literally make a choice. Are you gonna interact? Or are you not? You know what I mean? Are you gonna get the achievement? Yeah, yeah. Or not? I, I was like overthinking and I did hit the I have to, man. <laughs> It was so funny because uh, uh, at the party we had, yeah, yeah, um, somebody gave me like a like a cigar, okay, right, and I didn't want to smoke it, so I just put it in my pocket. <laughs> so I went out for a walk with John. I'm like, "Yo, John, you want this?" He's like, "No, nah, no, nah, nah, but keep it. I don't want it, but keep it." I'm why? like, "Wait, why?" It's like, "It might be useful later." <laughs> <laughs> and then he started telling me. He started t- <laughs> what did he tell you? He started telling me there might be someone in front of a door that you might have to pass out. <laughs> It's like some Pokemon shit, bro. Because if you really take it in, whatever you bring with you <laughs> yeah. that day might come handy. Oh, that's Real shit, it might come handy. Because <sighs> there, there's dead ass like people in front of things. Yeah, yeah. Or things that you can unlock. Let's say you befriend someone, but in oh. a way to befriend them, you have to give them a certain object. <laughs> like you meet somebody like, yo, I'm such, I'm such a Spider-Man fan, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And like, oh, wait. Oh, look at this. I have, I have a Spider-Man toy. You want this? <laughs> you know what I mean? And then they become your best friend Max. and they give you a million dollars. You know what I mean? Some bullshit like that. But John's point was like, low-key, life is kind of like a video game. It is. It is. It's kind of like a video game. And you know those um, literally Pokemon, mm-hmm. how you can't enter here yet, but he'll give you clues. <laughs> <laughs> like, I could really go for a smoke right now. <laughs> facts, facts, no. Yo, wait, hold up. <laughs> Like that item will will, yeah. will come into like later play. Yeah, low that's key smart. that happens. Yeah, that's so funny. Bro. That happens in real life. People will, will say some some hints. Yeah, but if you don't pick up on it, oh, <laughs> you're not gonna realize. Like girls too. Girls yeah. will do that too. Bro, talking about uh, greed and hints. Uh, we went to the C and E with Jaden. Yeah, and he saw my story, right? So um, we we started doing the the gambling game, mm. the over and under, right? So the, you, they'll throw two balls, and if it adds up to to more than seven, it's over. And then it's like yeah, yeah, anything yeah. below is under, right? So bro was winning. He wanted a crazy run. I How think, much you make? So he put in twenty dollars, and he kept guessing right. So he was at a hundred. Oh shit! Right? So he became greedy, and he obviously he's still too young to go to the casino. So he put like fifty dollars down, no. lost it, right? And he kept losing throughout the whole no. day. He kept putting money, right? And the, the last one, he was like, "Fuck, I'm going my last time." Like he put the five dollars down, and like. I don't know why there was no win, but something blew it off the counter. So I was already telling Jaden, that's your that's sign. That's that's sign. <laughs> that God, God is telling you not to gamble <laughs> that. And he's like, he's like, no, like Yo. it fell down. He put it back. He slammed it back on the table. Lost it. Last one. Yeah, that's no, because he's chasing his bet, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like a, it's like a. That's how people get addicted. Yeah, yeah. It's because you're chasing like a high. It's you, all emotional. <laughs> you can't be too greedy. And literally, God's giving you signs by by pushing it off the table for you. Yeah, me. damn, bro. I I've never seen such a more clear sign. Yo, did you know uh, OnlyFans, <laughs> yeah. they use the same strategy as a casino. Oh, I think I've seen that. Yeah. yeah. So it's literally the same psychology as a casino. That's mm-hmm. why OnlyFans works. Yeah. So it'll give you a taste of what something could be. Mm-hmm. And it puts a, a price at each one. Yeah. So it's hidden too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let's say one is $5. You open it. Uh-huh. Like, damn, okay, that's what I got for $5. Mm-hmm. And you see one that's like 30 and like... Okay, she must be putting out something crazy for yeah. thirty, mm-hmm. and you buy the thirty. Like, Damn, the blah blah blah, and you see another one <laughs> for a hundred. Yeah, the so it's the same. Crazy. Exactly, so it's the same. Thanks. It's like it, it it pushes the boundaries and it makes you test more. So you got to be careful. Low key, yeah. You don't wanna, you don't wanna play off of an emotion. Yeah, you don't. Because if you're strictly off your emotion, 
that's how things happen. That's how bad things happen. Mm -hmm. Like even fights, even like relationships torn off of emotions. You have to kind of like find yourself grounded to make your best decisions. Yeah, yeah. Because I find myself a lot like I really want to make a decision on the spot, yeah. but then I realize, fuck. Okay, I might mess up here. Let me just take a break. Let me like like think about it. Yeah. Let me let me mentally mm -hmm. step back. Yeah, that's and, hard to and do. evaluate and evaluate. That's so hard to do because you're like. You're so set on something, like sometimes you don't. It's just go mode. Mm. There's no, there's no going back, you know. And thanks to our sponsor, <clears throat> DraftKings Sportsbook. What the fuck? <laughs> thanks to DraftKings for sponsoring this episode. NFL season is officially here, and I'm not sure about you, but my Sundays are starting to look exactly like this: me and my favorite team's jersey parked in front of the TV all day. I partnered up with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official partner of the National Football League, to bring all new customers an exciting way to join in on the action right now. New customers download the DraftKings app, use my promo code JUMPPOD, bet just $5 and boom, $200 in bonus bets hit your account instantly. So don't wait any longer, get some skin in the game and download the DraftKings app now. That's right, new customers who bet just $5 on any wager will receive $200 in bonus bets instantly. Stay in on the action and use your $200 in bonus bets on DraftKings same game parlays combined multiple bets together from the same game for a shot at an even bigger payout. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. You can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy and have a shot to win cash prizes. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use our promo code JUMPPOD, J-U-M-P-P-O-D. Bet just $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code J-U-M-P-P-O-D, JUMPPOD, only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Sportsbook. So this podcast is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. So whether you guys are just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time all in one place, all on your own terms. So one thing I like about Squarespace is that you guys can sell custom merch. You guys can create a passive income stream that engages your audience and scales your brand. And you guys can design your product, production, inventory, and all shipping are handled for you to save money and time and the site provides you an online store so whether you guys sell physical digital or service products squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online also for you guys who don't know how to create a website squarespace provides you with professional website templates with designs for every category and use case you guys can customize your look update content and add features to fit your unique needs you guys can make any squarespace template do what you want so your idea brand or business stands out online on every device so head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to www.squarespace.com slash jumpers j-u-m-p-e-r-s to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain that's squarespace.com slash jumpers this episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. so do you guys ever find that just as you're trying to fall asleep your brain suddenly won't stop talking do your thoughts start racing right before bed or at any weird moments well it turns out one great way to make those racing thoughts go away is to talk them through therapy gives you a place to do that so you guys can get out of your negative thought cycle and find some mental peace. So I know one of the biggest problems if you're going through something is trying to find help. But going through therapy has so many benefits. Some of them is that you guys can learn positive coping skills and how to set your boundaries. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapist anytime for no additional charge. So get a break from your thoughts with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash jumpers, J-U-M-P-E-R-S, today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash jumpers. There's, there's a crazy uh, theory going around. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you heard this one, because mm. this is an old theory, okay. but there's like proof about it now. Okay. So, do you know the Mars theory? Mars. That there's aliens on Mars? Nah. So, there's a theory that... Mars uh. was the original planet that humans were from. Okay. And then something happened that we all had to fly to another planet and live on. So there used to be like civilization that lived on Mars. But now, now it's all dried up, right? Now it's all dried up. Now bag this. Uh -huh. On Mars, there's an element on the periodic table called xenon. Now xenon yeah. on Earth is only found. This is crazy. Is only found 
after a nuclear explosion. No, no. no. Oh shit, that's not even <laughs> the super wrong. mode button. I said no. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, so theory, yeah. and it goes hand in hand now. What if on Mars, there was a nuclear warfare, destroyed mm. the whole planet, but people were able to escape just in time, yeah. landed on Earth, and they had to restart from nothing. So we are the aliens. We're the aliens. What the hell? Nah, that's kind of weird. But that makes sense also. Because that's how Loki the Earth would end up looking yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. If he did have if something a happened like that, yeah, 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 yeah. No, but this is like real proof. Like this is this is search it up. Yeah. It's real shit. Like this element's called xenon and uh -huh. it, it's prominent after nuclear explosion. Okay. Covered in Mars. Mm. All over. Mars is is all of that shit. Damn. Crazy. No, sometimes I, I really just bag it. I think it was I was on the balcony last time and I seen some stars. And I was like, damn, like we are just a pinch. Like I imagine, know. like you know, like does that ever hit you? Or like even like um, you're walking by everyone every day and like, you know that somebody else is living such a complex life like yours. It's such a crazy. I, I have a little bit of solipsism though. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. You Wait, know what solipsism? No, no. Is? What's, what's that again? So this concept of like you can't prove I'm real and you. Like, I know it's not a good way to live. Yeah, yeah. And I don't necessarily live by that, but, like, mm. sometimes I think about it. Where, like, mm. do all of these people, are they real? Like, I don't know. That really? makes sense. No, I'm scared of everyone. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> no, but no, I'm not saying real as in, like, they can't come to you. They can't, yeah, like, yeah. blah, blah, blah. But their consciousness, like, you can't prove it. Mm. So I think, I think the good in thinking like that is yeah. now you decide if you will be a good person or a bad person. So let's say theoretically solipsism was real for somebody mm -hmm. and everybody's an NPC. Yeah. That's pretty much what it means. Like everybody's an NPC. Now, how are you going to be as a person knowing that they're all NPCs? Mm -hmm. Are you going to be bad because it doesn't matter? Yeah. Or are you going to be good because for the sake of being good, for the sake of loving? You yeah, know I'll mean? be bad to be honest. Because like no one, no one cares. Yeah, but I think when you take it upon yourself to actually make it loving and make it positive and make it good and be a good person, yeah. that says a lot more than knowing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because the regular person would have just not. Yeah, I know. Yo, there was, um, I think there was like a scenario on TikTok I seen where like this uh, millionaire, mm -hmm. he ate at a restaurant and like he was ordering the most like um expensive plates, stuff like that. And the waiter, the waiter hands him his bill yeah. and, and he's just like this, he's chill. He's like, I'm not paying for this. And then the guy's like, what? He's like, I have no money. And then so like, what do you do? So, so the guy's like, what? No, you can't do that. And stuff like that. So um, he's like, yeah, I'll mop the floors. I'll, I'll, I'll clean the dishes. He's like, sir, the bill is way too high for you to be mopping all the floors and doing all this. Yeah. So the, the waiter, even though he's broke, he gives bro all, all like, he'll, he pays the bill. So the waiter pays for his. The waiter shit. pays for the bill. And um, he said, uh, uh, I'll give you my number. And when you're ready uh, to pay me back, just pay me back. Yeah. And then the, the guy, the millionaire is like, Oh, what if I don't? And then the guy hits him with a bar. He's like, then you're not a human being. Wait. I was like, holy fuck. You aren't though. Like that, that's rude. That's cruel. You're not a human being. You're with a, with morals fam. If you don't pay the guy back. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh fuck. Wait, that's a, that's a good like point. But I know there's some people out there that would just That not... wouldn't. Yeah. But they're not human beings fam. Like they have no. No compassion. No compassion. You know, no heart. Fuck, but there's some people like that though. Mm -hmm. There's some people like super cold hearted and yeah. you could literally say like they're heartless. Yeah. I think, damn, I think, because that's kind of rare to, to see those type of people. Mm -hmm. Low key, do you think those people are important? Because mm. mm. this, this is my take on it. Like a lot of people don't think about it like this, mm. but there would be hard scenarios where somebody has to do something that nobody else can handle. Mm. And to put somebody that can take it in place of everybody else, yeah. it would work in society, you know? Yeah, and then someone comes out with a camera on, and we're back with a, what would you do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that shit always happens, but nah, no, nah, I think you're right too. They are important because you. I guess you learn from them. Yeah, it's like not to be, like, it's an example not to be. Yeah, because if everybody's doing something, it'd be a, like we yeah we said nice, this like yeah. it's it's too much of the same yeah then there's no nothing to compare like yeah. you look you have to see like a, exactly. a crazy extreme a crazy person fuck Max. you you seen the um, you seen the 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 mountains how it like looks like giants and shit oh yeah the sleeping ones yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so 
Do you know um, Himalayan like salt? The the red shit. Yeah, the red, the red, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Loki is good for like pre workout. It and is stuff. good, it's blessed. But those like Himalayan salts, you know where they come from? Now, there's huge like mountains of this Himalayan salt, and it's dead ass like cave systems of it. Yeah. Huge, right? There's a theory <laughs> that if there were to be giants, okay, the body and the muscles would turn into salt over time. Okay. Now check this out. Yeah. If you really look at like a Himalayan salt, like a big look, look. It's a big crystal, right? Look what it looks like. What does it resemble? Let me see. Let me see. And this this is straight out of Attack on Titan fab. <laughs> okay. That's Attack on Titan is real, and this is proof. <laughs> Watch this shit. <laughs> Red, uh, salt mountain. Check this shit out. <clears throat> so you, you see cave systems like this, right? Yeah. Okay. What? What does it resemble? Think about it. Hold on. Let me let me get a good pick for you. Fuck, it looks like um dead bodies. Look, it looks it? like no, the, no, no. In the inner. Oh, that looks like uh the guy from Attack on Titan. Yeah. No. <laughs> now listen, it's literally muscle. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. It, it looks, literally like, looks muscle. like muscle. Yeah, yeah. Like if you look at like a a human, look. <laughs> yeah. That's facts. what it looks like. No facts. It does. It's straight up muscle. Now, oh. if giants were real... So you're saying the mountains are... Li so going inside a mountain is going inside a human? Going inside a human. And and theory goes that over time... Yeah. Because our muscles would turn into that, especially because there's uh, there's certain nutrients that uh -huh. turn it into salt. Yo. I don't know. I don't know. This, this is obviously a theory and shit, yeah. but... No, but fam, I've seen those ones where the, the picture is like... It literally... Like the mountain looks like a back. Yeah. Or it looks like a face. And it, I don't know if it's only in mountains, but it also happens in woods and trees. Mm. So there, there, I remember there was like one person where you can sit on the lap and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it was like roots connected to the ground. You know what's so, fucked? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is crazy, whoa, bro. Whoa. So <clears throat> Maui, the Maui fires, right? You know, so, bro, this is, this is crazy. What happened, bro? So, you know, in, in Moana, Moana had like a, a lady that was a mountain and then she turned into a I person. Seen, I seen remember this? Yeah, I seen this. I seen this on TikTok. Check this out. Now, Maui, in Lahaina, the part of the island that was on fire was the island is shaped as like a woman's head. Yeah, and where the fire was uh -huh. was directly where Holy the third eye would be, like on the forehead. Okay, that's kind of fucked. Hold on, let me see if I can find the <clears> video. <throat> I don't know if I still have the video here. Damn, I don't have it here. Nah, you know. No, that. but hold on, hold on. Yeah, but this is pretty much what it is. Ah, right, let me see. You can look it up, Loki. The Maui Island shape. Yeah, see, this is this is the shape of the island. It looks like yeah, a person. Yeah, a woman. yeah, yeah. It looks like a person. And that then the fire was right here where the third eye would be. No, that's weird. That's, that's weird. crazy. That's weird. That's, that's weird. crazy. The fact that the island looks like that and it's right there. So that, that shit is definitely something's planned. Something's going that shit, yeah, on, bro. Something's very suspicious about something's that Something's going man. on. Nah. So imagine, like, they start targeting specific mountains that look like humans. What does that mean? Like, what do you think that means? Maybe it's not even that. What if it's like a spiritual thing too? What if yeah. it's like a something we can't really foresee or it just happens in that way for us to realize and see it in that Something's way? Something's coming? Kind of like for us to understand it that way. So mm. I don't, this, this is kind of hard to like explain. Yeah. But let's say, let's say something <laughs> phenomenal happens in everyday life. Mm -hmm. And it's a miracle, Right. But it's something we can't comprehend. It would have to be comprehended to us in ways simplified for us to understand. Mm. So it would be put in a, a perspective of like, oh, she helped her so that her life is better. So it's yeah. simple. Like we understand that now. Mm -hmm. But would we really understand, let's say, somebody starving to death, blah, 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 blah. Probably and then not. later on, somebody sees that. You know what I mean? Like, somebody's life has changed now they want to feed the feed the hungry yeah. and the whole like system changes mm -hmm. now that was a miracle in disguise because that person saw that person yeah. and then now they have compassion to change the world Facts. but we don't see things like that yeah. so do you think it has to be like i i don't know let me know if people understand what i'm talking about mm -hmm. but it's on a it's on a sense of we can't comprehend miracles unless it's onto a way that our stupid brains can a realize. miracle is a miracle because it's not supposed to be comprehended low key exactly that's, that's like what I'm how, how how did bro turn water into wine we can't we don't understand that yeah we don't understand it but it's it's in a way that we kind of kind of yeah. can kind of mm -hmm. you know 
Yeah. Let tune down in the comments if you facts, if you know facts, what I'm saying. Facts. Because I feel like a lot of the time, I I don't know if I'm doing the right things. Really? But I just have faith that I'm doing the right things. You know? Yeah. You should always like. I don't. I don't think I go every day and like. So obviously, men's will mess up sometimes because we're not perfect. Mm -hmm. But like at the same time, it's like, like it's a video game. Everything that you make already is you know it's supposed to lead up to what it's supposed yeah. to lead up to. Like I think. <clears throat> That truth of like blind faith is, is really powerful. Yeah, it is. Even in yourself, mm -hmm. even in just seeing a project be fulfilled. Yeah. <clears throat> My bad. I was like heartburn. Yeah, yeah. But um if if something is not even like created, like just the concept of it exists mm -hmm. and you don't put any faith behind it, yeah. nothing will happen. Now, there's a crazy quote that I heard this 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 like changed my mind about shit. Yeah. yeah. And it was about a king. There was a king and there was a whole crowd of people. Yeah. And there was this one person in the crowd. And he said, one day I will be king. And everybody in the room was laughing. Okay. Except who? Except the king himself. Yeah, yeah. Why do you think that is? Because he already knew. Like he had faith. Because that's the first step. That's literally the first step. Like in order to become king, yeah. the first step is to believe you can. Yeah, yeah. Because if you really bag it, once you start out, you have no one believing in yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, you are the person that has to get you over that hump. Yeah. And then everyone follows. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, and there's there's two ways you can interpret that too. Mm -hmm. The king is either he respects him because of that or he's fearful because he knows he has faith mm -hmm. that he can he can become king yeah. and take his place. Fact. You know? Now, confidence is so, everything. Yeah, there's two ways to take it. Yeah. Now, I think the two ways to take it is seen in everyone, like literally every single person you meet, mm -hmm. you can see like how they would take that. Mm. Are they are they the king that's respectful? Are they the king that's envious? Or are they the are they the king that that laughs? Or are they the people that laugh? Mm. You're one of them. Really? Damn, you can just see that, you think? No, I think like every single person, like they would act a certain way. Like you can kind of mm. categorize how like I, I don't know if this is true, uh -huh. but I kind of like do this subconsciously. But every single guy I meet, I kind of see which Ninja Turtle he would be. Really? What the hell? That's so specific. I don't know, so if, I'm weird I don't know if I'm weird. So I'm not weird for that. I mean, that's different. But no, like, but it's easy to like categorize four people. Oh, that is true. So you make it. <laughs> there's Leonardo. <laughs> but what if they're not Leonardo, fam? It's so broad. It's so specific. Okay, check this out. So Michelangelo is the yeah. jokester, the funny one, mm -hmm. and he's carefree, blah, oh, okay, blah. Okay. Donatello's the smart one, mm -hmm. right? Raphael's like the, yeah, yeah, the thug. He's Definitely, like kind of yeah, yeah. like um, you know what I mean, hot headed, uh, blah blah. <laughs> and then Leonardo's the leader, and he's compassionate, and he's yeah, like yeah. a good person. Mm -hmm. I think everybody kind of like lines up into that. I guess at least every guy. Maybe, but it's so so crazy. Like, I would say you're Michelangelo. What the funny one? Yeah, yeah, comedic relief. Yeah, I could see that too. I could see the you're Raphael. You already you think I'm Raphael? Yeah, you're born into Raphael. Your middle name is Raphael. No? Yeah, it is Raphael. That's what I'm saying. So like, no, but I, I want to be Leonardo. <laughs> I want to be Leonardo. Feel me? I mean, people see that's the thing where it gets tricky because 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 you, you can, can you it, can have traits. You can of have Leonardo. traits exactly exactly. So it's like they, but, okay, leave down in the comments <laughs> which one I kind of like embody and which yeah. one Gavin embodies. Okay, bet. but no, but my uh, Taekwondo instructor he always said to me like when um he started teaching. He could already tell, um, like, a, if a kid is going to have, like, a structured life, a good life. Really? From just practicing with him. Word. Yeah, and he said, yo, Gavin, like, you had discipline, you had your work ethic, you're going to go far, right? But I know the kids that have no discipline, they don't listen to their parents, like, they're not going to go far. Because they, you know, there's no work ethic, there's no discipline there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, and as soon as I started teaching, I started noticing that, too. Like, yeah, I know that person. This kid is probably going to go to university, finish, get a good job. Like, you can you can kind of tell where their future lives up just through the work ethic and discipline they have. Yeah, I think I think that's that's very true, especially mm -hmm. with, like, first impressions. Yeah. But at the same time, first impressions could vary depending on how much you meet that person. But uh, teaching Taekwondo is yearly. So, like, every day. I see this kid every day for the year. Mm. So, it's like, so you kind of You know up, him. Yeah. You know him at that point. You kind of pick up on the habits. But... <laughs> For the benefit benefit of the doubt, people like, can change. Yeah, yeah. people change, yeah, bro. Yeah. You know how much I like. I don't even think I'm the same person no mm -hmm. more. Yeah, which is crazy. Yeah, like like yo, cause I just remember. I don't know why, but like you guys never saw the stages of Carlos. Like his hype beast, like um shoe phase 
was so like blinded in the way like because you don't fucking care about shoes no more yeah but, like, i know I, like now my first impression of carlos was sneakerhead so he wore supreme like, i cared I about like, all that shit I'm bro i'm like wait whoa this is different but now it's like who cares yeah like, no who, it's different bro i don't know i think it's it's just like what you what you find is important in your life and then yeah. like you have to kind of realize what's important and it takes i guess challenges to to find that and can it advance like just yeah it takes challenges to find out what you really care about yeah yeah yeah. because you don't know what you really really care about mm -hmm. until you're put in a position that makes you choose yeah and that's the same way of like a relationship you don't know you really really love somebody yeah. until you're you're put against like the gun like do you love that person? Find facts, out. Facts, you know what I mean? Facts. Fuck around and find out. Facts, you know? bro. Because real shit, like, if you don't take care of somebody that you love, mm -hmm. they might not love you anymore. Yeah. And then if they leave you, mm -hmm. what happens? You might regret it because you didn't take care of them, you right? Care of it. Yeah, That's bro. the Bruno Mars, bro. Yeah. <laughs> when I was in that, whatever that song was, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's a yo, banger, bro. <laughs> but yo, the fight, the fight or flight, bro, you can just tell, like, oh, uh, this happened, Um, I think it was last week, too. We were at some ghetto ass mcdonald's right yeah so i'm like it was i think it was like 3 4 a.m because we were just talking and obviously ethan jb's there hayden Jaden, right yeah and it got to those times where yo everyone's just pulling up to that mcdonald's mm -hmm. right so first car comes and he puts down his window he just looks at our group right mm. and you can tell the fight or flight and like who just freezes so Ooh, yeah, I, yeah obviously yeah. i froze <laughs> ethan ethan's like Yo, yo, guys, guys uh, what the fuck? Why is he looking at us? And JB's like, yo, bro, just calm. It was so crazy <laughs> to see that dynamic of the group. He's like, and he was just looking at us. So he puts the window down. He looks at Ethan. He goes like this. And I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, And yeah. Ethan's like kind of squinting over them. He's like, wait, let, oh, let me go to the car. I'm like, oh why would you go to the God. car? <laughs> Street smarts, bro. Street smarts, that's what I'm saying. Street so, awareness. Good thing, though, this first car... I, I, it was his friend, I guess. Like, he recognized him. Oh, okay. But he came up in a weird way, yeah. right? So, boom. 15 minutes later, another car rolls through, right? There's these two guys bumping loud music. They they roll the window down. Mm. Again, Ethan's like, yo, guys, what the fuck? <laughs> and, then, and then JP's like, just let them talk to us. you know? And then uh, the guy's like, yo, you want to race? And then JP's like, nah, nah, man, just keep moving. Ethan's like, oh, what car you drive? <laughs> oh my I should, like, god, bro! <laughs> like, Yo, bro. At, at some points like that, that is a scam because they know that their car is faster than yours, and so they're just gonna get money out of you. They're right? gonna take your car. Is this yeah, gonna happen? They're gonna take your car. Fam. Real estate. And then, bro, it kept going. Like random cars just pull over. Uh, they're they're trying to talk to us. We're like, Yo, okay, this is at a point where we just have to go home. Let's just like flee out of here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just have to be aware because yeah. I feel like the worst people that find themselves into terrible positions mm -hmm. is because they're not the educated. Lack of social yeah, they're just not educated. Yeah. And it's not necessarily because it's not their fault. It's just they haven't learned. Yeah, yeah. No, and so they're <laughs> in the wrong places because they're kind of like target. And not they're like dragged there. Yeah. They're led there. Sometimes like I usually base my like intel intelligence of a person where like I know where if that person can like be socially aware or like if they know social cues, that's how I really like my mm. pet peeve is someone who doesn't know social cues. Mm. Like that pisses me off the most, like, or it lacks social awareness. Yeah. yeah Cause yeah. you know, I'm hyper focused. So I know everything that's going on. That's good. But if I see somebody who's like, like there's a gun to the back of their head and they turn around, they're like, Oh, what is this? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> don't, piss, don't piss me off. Don't Yo, piss me off here. I, th I think there's an art of like being calm, but doing that at the same time. It's, yeah. it's almost like acting. Like you kind of have to, yeah, you aware, but you don't really show it. <laughs> facts, facts. You know, and I, that's exactly what JB is doing because I know deep inside, like obviously he's worried, but he's putting that. Yeah, that's that what you kind of have to do, man. Yeah. Like that because they're they're like, I guess I don't want to say it like this, but yeah, people that do bad things, they'll sniff you out. Mm, yep, it's like a dog. It's like a dog. Not even like dogs, like even tigers and lions in the wild when they're hunting prey yeah yeah they test you feel me like uh, they 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 see, they see if you're if you're gonna be fast like they they can tell if you're fast just by smelling you <laughs> that motherfucker's slow yeah exactly that ass they can probably sense that yeah, shit yeah, yeah. and no this is real too because they can uh -huh. smell your your pheromones oh yeah, yeah like you give off a certain pheromone when you're when you're afraid mm -hmm, yeah and i forgot who it is i think it's daredevil he has the power mm -hmm. that because he's blind yeah he has the power of all his other senses are enhanced. Mm. So he would be able to tell if somebody's lying by their pheromones, right. by their heartbeat, everything like that because of his other senses. Really? See, animals can do that to you, bro. Animals yeah. are sick. Would you mutate your body to have superpowers? 
and what would you have? Mutate my body. Uh, Let's say, like, is there something that you find that you kind of need right now? I, I would, I would be nice, like, have. Fuck, I don't know. Low key, I know exactly what I would do. What? <laughs> what do you want? Like, if you can mutate yourself and like uh -huh. do something, shape shift, man. That's not mute. Shape shifting is a super power, though. Yeah, but I, how does that relate to your body? I thought you were gonna no, add you, something you, your to your body. body. Changes, bro. Oh yeah, that's like a ditto. Or is that is that um, is that like cheating the system because it's like more than one? Yeah, that is more than one. That's way too much. Oh yeah, that's bro. too much then. Like I would add like a fucking. I guess like bulletproof. Yeah, like I could grow, like you know how like a lizard could lose an arm, but like oh, grow it back. That shit? That'd yeah. be crazy. You know what I mean? Like if oh fuck, one person chops it off. No, that's crazy. Oh, that would be the craziest party trick. Yo guys, look at this. <laughs> And it fucking starts bleeding. It just grows back. No, no, no. But what, what if it gets fucked? Yo. Like, you throw the arm. Yeah. And then tomorrow, a new Gavin no. grows. <laughs> it Yo. comes out of the arm. <laughs> and then you're knock at the door. You open that shit. It's, it's another Gavin. <laughs> you see Gavin says... That's <laughs> oh yo yo talking about uh, mutating. Yeah. Yo, you know, do you know those um those fish spas? You know, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Like when you when, put the feet yeah, in. Yeah, when you dip your feet I in. I don't talk about. Bro, so I think uh, there was this lady in Thailand that wanted to try it. Yeah. Right? And so she saw that person like um setting up the fish tank, right? So she's like, okay, like I I I've never done one of these. Let me just go and try it, right? Mm. So she puts her feet in, and obviously the the whole point of this is like the fish is supposed to clean off the dead skin cells. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what it does. So she does it, everything goes good. She goes home, like, everything's feeling blessed. The next day, I think, she catches a fever. Wait, why? Because, okay, so bag this. She caught a water disease. From the thing. From, from the, the fish. fish. Because if you bag it, when you get a tattoo, and there's so many people doing it, you can clean off your tools. Yeah. Who, who's cleaning the fish? Oh, shit. So, that's so true. And the only way that she could uh, uh, fix that is by amputating nah, her feet. Ah, that's So fun. she got all her toes gone. That's fucked. Gone by the end of it. Just Damn. because she wanted to do a water thing. But I really bagged it. Like, you can change the water, but the fish can carry around bacteria. Yeah. And you're going person to person feet, fam. Yeah, You know how much so shit true. you stand on? <laughs> Ew, bro. So if anyone wants to get that feet thing done, yo, don't get that shit, bro. That's like, ah, oh, man. Because there's, there's, a, there's a show that used to be on... I, I don't know if it was Discovery Channel or what it was. Yeah. But it was kind of like A Thousand Ways to Die. Okay. Where they would show crazy things that happened to people and how they would happen. Yeah. And one of them was this woman. She was just like on an adventure in I think the Amazon. Mm. Bro, this is so crazy. But she didn't even harm herself really. Yeah. She, I think she walked by a branch. Ew. And she got a scratch. No, she got a scratch on her thumb. Mm -hmm. It was like a splinter and a scratch, right? Yeah. Pull the splinter out, put a band-aid, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. She didn't realize whatever happened to that branch. And you don't even know what the fuck's out there in Amazon. <laughs> yeah. A lot of that shit is undiscovered. Fact, fact. Damn, you know what happened? What? Her whole hand became paralyzed. Oh. Like God. eventually, and it died. What? She had to, she had to, she had to amputate her hand because it like the cells like Because died. of a tree branch? Because of a tree branch. And it wasn't even that serious. Like she just like brushed past it. Because it hit like the wrong nerve hit, or something. No, it hit like, yeah, no, it it literally just whatever substance that was on the thing, maybe yeah. it was venom, maybe it was mixed with other elements in the oh. branch. It's just like the perfect concoction of shit. Yeah. And it happened to hit you at that perfect time. Yeah. Crazy. Mm. Do you like gory stuff or no? Like, what do you mean like gory stuff? You like, do you like watching gory stuff? Does it like trigger a thing in you? Or like, you, cause I know a lot of people like, this. some fetishes people have, like they like I'm watching not a, gory I'm not a psychopath fam. Yeah. Like what are you talking about? Okay, yo, let me see. I don't like watching okay. blood and shit. Cause I know crazy. you watch a lot of movies too. No, I watch I, horror movies for fun. Yeah. But I'm not watching as like, yo. Like, okay, but I want to see if you've seen this movie. I think it's called um, Guinea Pig. Oh, that's by the the Japanese director. It was a J I Japanese heard of this. film. Yeah, I did hear this. Oh my god! So I don't know why back then everyone thought like the special effects that that guy was using and directing mm -hmm. was real. Like everyone thought it was so gory. Like I'm telling you, like Tarantino times a hundred. Yeah. Right. And uh, fun fact: Charlie Sheen watched the movie. Mm -hmm. He got so disturbed that he called FBI. Word. He called because like the shit that he was seeing just put him into shock. Yeah, because he actually thought people were getting killed, right? Mm -hmm. So he called FBI. 
He told that that uh, di- uh, arrest the director. Mm-hmm. The director got arrested and needed to go to court to show that all of his actors were still alive. Damn. So all of his actors went to court. We're like, yeah. So I'm it wasn't on. real. It wasn't real, but okay. it was so it bad. It was so crazy yeah, yeah. that it looked real. So if you guys are into gore, like, yo, watch Guinea Pig. Oh, that shit go fuck you fuck, up. Fuck, man. You know what? Ha, ah, shit. Oh, this is some Black Mirror thoughts I just had. Yeah. But imagine this. Fuck. <laughs> what the Check fuck? this out. Imagine in, in a world where cloning exists. Uh-huh. Imagine they clone actors and actresses to use in movies and film real deaths. That's a Black Mirror episode. Oh, whoa. That must be a Black Mirror episode. I just came up with that in my head right whoa, now. That is kind of Black Mirror, weird, use though. that, please. <laughs> and, and put me in the credits somewhere. Yo, is that crazy? Yeah, like a stunt double, but they're actually yeah, not. but it's real. Yo, that's fucked. <laughs> Yo, that's fucked. Yo, but how much are they get? Do they know this though? Does the stunt double know this that they're gonna die, or they just fucking? I guess clone? they don't because it, that's the real acting. Oh, and, and, yo, and then the plot. Oh the, my yo, the, god! The plot twist: the the stunt double becomes conscious and says, "Fuck that, I'm not doing it." And there's two of the same people on Earth now. No, what if they're actually conscious the whole time? Yeah, but they're purposely like laboratory made. Yeah, yeah, yeah to like, die for going. a film. Fuck, bro. And then to get the real reaction of how somebody would die, Ew, they yo. wouldn't even tell them. Oh. That's crazy. That is kind of crazy. Like, oh my god. Damn, act- let me write Black Mirror. The movie, A1 though. <laughs> you would actually see tears. Like, oh fuck, that guy yeah, actually died it's in real, front of me. Because it's real. Holy <laughs> shit. That guy actually died. No, I didn't like that. I thought of that, bro. Yeah, I don't like that. It's gonna be. I'm gonna lie, take a nap after that one, bro. <laughs> no, that's fucked. That's a, no, but like, it's it's intrusive thoughts though. It's like, the more psychopath, like, Thoughts would probably lead to a better plot because no one's seen it before. That's true. Because no one's thinking about that. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why Jeffrey Dahmer was such a hit. Obviously, because it's like there's only so many people like that. Yeah, yeah. Some director really thought about like doing this story. Damn, bro. I hope. See, the the thing that really scares me is I I really don't want to see fake media. I guess inspire real things. Fake media. Oh shit. You know, like I guess. Content inspire real life things to happen. Yeah, like Squid Game. Fuck, they're actually doing a Squid Game in real life. Like people are done. Like that's natural pickings, though. <laughs> no, because if it really comes down to it, like for example, in the Hunger Games. Yeah. I know it didn't end how oh, blah yeah, blah yeah. would end, but if you think about it, if that were real, uh-huh. they'd probably still have that shit running. Yeah, for sure, bro. Like if there was a real Hunger Games, and then there was a way to like keep the people. At bay, that shit would probably be running, fam. Have you have you seen those things on um on TikTok where it's like the Indians play games for food and materials? It's nah, so I sad. Seen it's actually so sad. So like they would set up like carnival type games. Yeah. So like there would be holes and like you would need to roll a ball, and if you get it in, you get like the rice, you get a stool, or you get. <laughs> so Wait, where is this? In India, bro. What the so fuck? it's like they roll it in. They're like, uh, what do you call it? Rice. Winner rice, but if they don't roll it in, the girl goes up so sad. Like you couldn't just give them the rice because they need that shit. Why do they have to play a game to do that? Damn, it's so crazy, fam. The shit I see on TikTok, I'm on a weird side of TikTok. Bro. What the fuck? I'm literally seeing that's live too. Yeah, that, that it really sounds like it's like dark, like dark shit that I really shouldn't be seeing because that's that's torture. Low key, yeah, that's, that's low key that's torture. That's, that's so up. torture. But oh my god, <laughs> that shit is. Fuck. Okay, I have a question for you, bro. Yeah, yeah. Are we? Damn, this is kind of deep. Yeah. Are Are we already like failed or I guess brainwashed to to just want and spend more money? To want and spend more money. Because yeah. that's greed at the base. Yeah. Yeah, me. Like we're taking more than what we need to survive. Yeah. No, for sure. If you bag it like that, like I know, I know. There's a lot of great things that can come from being successful. Mm -hmm. And that's what I hope that I'm going to do with myself. But at the same time, do you think because everybody's already not, I guess, what do you call it? Since everybody's greedy, there can't be a peace. There can't be, you know what I mean? Mm. There can't be a balance because everybody's greedy. Yeah. I don't think it's too late, though, because... No, there's no way you think people can change. Do you think people can go back and change? Impossible. Yeah. Because no, like no, you think something happened? Cra- no, like, like the population of the world would go back Probably and change. Not. Okay, no. not everyone, but some people will. It's I don't think it's too late for the population, low key. Still, you think so? Like some maybe something will happen. Then like no, now we're working as a team because right now it is all just clash, right? But like 
something has to happen to, to to change everyone. But I feel like it could happen. It's not. It's not like that shit could not happen. It, I don't know. I don't think it can. Because okay, really? for example, living up to just survival, mm -hmm. would you go and live in like a little yeah. hut with just a stove? If that's what um the environment and circumstance needed me to, yeah. No, what I'm saying, would you volunteer for that? Oh, volunteer. Because that's what it is. Oh, okay. No, probably not. Exactly. And I don't think anybody would do that. But now that we're trapped in this, like, I guess the rat race and the race of like, okay, I have to spend more to be more mm. and up one, up one, up one, up yeah. keep going. The more that you go up, the less other people eat. If you, if you really take it in like that, because mm -hmm. you gaining $5 yeah. means $5 away from somebody else that could have ate with. That's facts. And you can see it now, right now, especially there's a crazy divide between the the rich and the poor. I think that's what they're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Because like the housing in Canada, bro, you you see people crying because they got to work at least three jobs to keep up with it. Because they can't. They like, can't. It's impossible. Yeah, it's impossible. yeah. So it's like the divide now is getting bigger and bigger that's because fuck. the inflation. Fuck, bro. Yo, like I don't even know how it's possible to even just move here and, yeah. and just start off anymore. Yeah. Like, can't, is that even possible, bro? No. Cause fam, uh, uh, McDonald's meal combo... Used to be three dollars for a Big Mac meal. It's I think it's fifteen dollars now. You know how crazy that is. Yeah, fifteen dollars. It's inflation, bro. Yo, it's inflation. And you know it's getting crazy when the the mom and pop shops who never change their prices. They have to. They, pull, have they to put that tape. Dollar. They put that tape over the picture and put a new number. Yeah. Yeah, it's wraps. <laughs> It's Not wraps. Fair. The only thing that I've seen hasn't changed was the Costco stuff. And I don't know if it actually has changed. Like the but, Costco food. But you know what? <clears throat> Costco's probably making so much money yeah, that yeah. it doesn't matter. It doesn't bro. matter. See, that's the divide, fam. Yeah. It's crazy, bro. <sighs> yeah. Yo, you know, I don't know if I said this already, but uh -huh. you know like how Costco chicken, they put it in like one spot in the Costco on purpose? I don't have a membership, so I don't know that. You never been to Costco? I've been to Costco, but I, I didn't notice that. So check this out. The Costco chicken, <laughs> yeah. it's really cheap. Like it's very affordable and will feed like a whole family. Okay, okay. Now back this. They keep it in the very, very, back. very back of okay. Costco. Yeah. Why? Makes sense. Cause so you're going through and you see everything else. You see everything else. I'm like, yeah. okay, I'm getting a chicken. Wait a minute. I can't just eat the chicken alone. I need a bev. I gotta get a salad. I gotta get a bev. I gotta get plates now. Oh shit, do we have milk? Yeah. Oh fuck, the eggs are there. Uh -huh. I might as well get eggs. And then you just end up buying everything. Yeah. No, that, like, that's the that's the biggest scam, fam. That's why the milk is in the back and the eggs are in the back. Because mm. they gotta go through there. Yo, that's so true. You didn't know that? That was like one of the, the first grocery. That's one of the first things they teach you in like grade one. Word. Yeah. That's so true. That's why whenever I go to a grocery store, I always keep a list because I'm focused on that list. Damn. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what now? Like, I don't even... I guess because I don't cook. Yeah. <laughs> like, when Fact. I go on a cruise... Yeah. A lot. Yo, Factor... Yo, sh can Factor sponsor us again? Like, we, we need another sponsor <laughs> we'll, for Factor. We'll, we'll get another sponsor. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Now, now that I think about it, there's so much distractions, bro. What? Like... Like, if, if you walk into somewhere, let's say, even just like a, a clothing store, a mall, <laughs> yeah. you walk in, it's dead ass scientifically made mm. for you to go be attracted go. to you, <laughs> hit your emotions a certain way and you spend your money Fact. and it's it makes like, you try to be, it tries to make you addicted to it so yeah. you keep coming back Fact. it's like a mouse it's like going into these different stores if you like put like a, a guideline of where we were it's like mouse holy shit that's it's like true this. it's like this going in and out <laughs> yo going in and out, buying shit. i wonder i wonder if there's a thing that can track you in a mall now like, it tracks mall? how much people are in one store. I wonder if that's a thing. Probably. I don't know. Oh, but what I learned mm. is the Sephora cameras. No, what happened? So, Sephora cameras, oh, I think it, they literally have super HD cameras where if you steal something, that's one store that you should never steal from. Because in your little purse, they can see what's in your little purse. Wait. So, uh, confirm this for Sephora workers because uh, a lot of people have been commenting. Yeah, I worked at Sephora. I'm I'm like it's crazy like what we can see in your bags. No way. Yeah. So there's X-ray and shit. I I think so, but or it's like a microscopic thing where they can literally look. Whoa. Into thing. Yeah. Some a lot of Sephora workers are like, yeah, I uh, like I, I it's so crazy that there's technology that can do that for shoplifting. Yeah. Because Sephora stuff are small. Yeah. So they need stuff to like you know like really dig in. The one that trips me out is a Uniqlo. What, what's what you? Oh, the, <laughs> yo, that, that trips, trips me out, me out. Too, bro. That trips me out. How do you know that that shit is? I that? know. And what's crazy? I'm I'm holding the thing. 
I didn't even put it in the yes. basket yet. <laughs> and then yo, it looks. I'm, I'm like halfway, it didn't even leave my hand. <laughs> that shit says two shirts. <laughs> No, that Dude, shit is real. Fuck? No, that shit is real life crazy. But I feel like since it is like a Chinese Japanese born store, yeah. I feel like they it's have high tech. It's already high tech. Like they've already they're past. You yeah. Know? Yo, in China, yeah. Did you see the thing that they have on their their heads now? What? What are they Yo, wearing? Yo, in China, all the kids in 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 the class, yeah. they're they're testing with they're testing this with some schools. They have like a headband. No. that is it VR. No. Okay. What, what it does, it. It tracks the attention of the child oh, shit. and sees if they're paying attention in class and yeah. what they focus on and to see if the curriculum is working. Oh, that's kind of crazy. Crazy. I thought it would be like if they're if they're not focused, it would like give them a shock. No, that's fucked That'd up. Be crazy. That's unethical. <laughs> that's crazy. That's Black Mirror. That is like yo. It's that's Black Mirror. <laughs> no, but it's like it it tracks the eyes on where it goes that's and crazy. it judges the teacher too. Oh shit! To see if the teachers up is to actually par. doing their yeah. job. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, cause yeah, how can you really tell if a teacher's doing their job nowadays? It's like they can just like uh, fix the grades up to for everyone to pass. Yeah, cause you know those times in the, you know those times when you're in high school and then there's like a principal that comes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm just here to watch a class. In the, in the that's act, up. Yeah, that's actually like the teacher getting tested. Yeah, yeah. That's actually the teacher getting like let's see if they're up to par and shit. Yeah, yeah. Holy smokes. <laughs> but. <laughs> Bro, low key, I don't. I never blame a student if they're doing bad. It's yeah. always the teacher, fam, mm. or the okay. curriculum <laughs> itself. Like bad in class. Yeah. Okay, maybe there's factors though because the person might just really not care. It's either okay. I want to say it's the curriculum and the teachers both. You can't just blame on the teachers, fam, because no, because I know a, a lot of people that really just don't give a fuck and they're not gonna try. And like the how like a teacher can do its best, but. You can like what was that saying? You can lead a, wa- a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. You know what I mean? I don't know, but there's some kids like <clears throat> even the worst of kids, they they can pay attention if the if the person's as I guess um, what's the word magnetic enough for yeah. them to pay attention. Yeah, because if look, t- t- take it in this way: uh-huh. if kids are paying attention to Mr. Beast, mm-hmm. they can pay attention to a teacher. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, no, Mr. Beast does something really specific though. He cuts shit, so it's he keeps the attention. Okay. Spent. Now, why can't a teacher do that? Because it's harder. Like you're 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 like you're standing up. There's no like edits you can do. You then know. Then why doesn't teacher make edits and videos in a Mr. Beast format mm. to help the kids learn better? That is true. There's trust me. There's <clears throat> dead ass ways to make school better. School is just shit mm. right now. It just it just. I always changed. knock on school. I just knock on school because like. Kids aren't learning and kids aren't excelling. Yeah. If school was really, really working, yeah. fam, the economy would be amazing. Everybody would be succeeding in the jobs that they're supposed to be doing. Yeah. They're following their passions and they're doing the jobs that they want to do. Mm. But obviously, the curriculum is not doing that. <laughs> so what is it? It's for something else. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, 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 for, it's for people to be good workers, not necessarily good people in their fields yeah and it's just made to just <clears throat> rack in more money yeah bro damn i feel like everyone's out there has like you know the the french teachers in specific mm-hmm. like they've caught it the worst like especially in english schools yeah and like your french teacher comes up i remember uh, our french teacher literally cried one time because she couldn't get a hold of us like every, like it yeah, went to, were bad kids it went to chaos like Men started throwing food and stuff. Shit. And, and she, yo, it was so funny. It went like this. So the French teacher goes, guys, I'm calling the principal, right? And, and AJ goes, I bet. Go call him. And he goes up to the announcement, presses the principal, <laughs> and calls him for That's her. That's crazy. That's the craziest move I've ever That's seen in my crazy. life. Wait, this is high school? Yeah, no, no. This is elementary. Oh, elementary school. So, so she's like, bet, I'll do it. He goes up. Bing! Uh, uh, the th- uh, the things like, oh, hey, guys. It's like, oh, my French teacher wants to tell you something. <laughs> yeah. no, but this is when, like, we were peak bad kids. That's though. so bad, bro. Yeah. But but I still blame the teacher, too. Yeah, he can't get a hold of us. Because even if the rowdiest of kids, fam, if there's a drill sergeant that can turn people into yeah. listeners, feel me? To people that will take orders to kill themselves. You That's know happened? I mean? Fam. You know what the military's like, right? Yeah. But I didn't know men are like, yo, they go, yo, kill yourself right now and they'll do it. Not necessarily. I'm not saying it like okay, that. Okay. I'm not saying that like that's an extreme, but I'm just saying like in general. Oh, to it, go out and to, to oh, go. Okay, my fault. Like, like if I tell you orders to go, fam, <laughs> go. 
you'll go, you know? <laughs> I thought you not yeah. necessarily to kill <laughs> yourself, like kill yourself on the spot. Now that's so what I'm saying. And no disrespect, no disrespect to anybody yeah, that's yeah, in the facts, That's facts. not what I'm saying. That's not facts, what I'm saying. Facts. I'm just saying like, facts. yeah, like they, they'll listen, they'll really, really listen, you know? <laughs> they'll make they'll make people good listeners. And that's why drill sergeants are good. And that's why they, they can have like such a, a good impact on, on training people. 100%, yeah. They have that effect and then they can change somebody's whole perspective of stuff yeah. and make them into a good person that takes orders yeah. and shit gets handled. But th that's fear too. Cause like, so like you'll get more disciplined people if you're feared on. Cause um, uh, I think a coach, he had a position to go into, to coach the NFL. Yeah. Right. But he said he would never do that because you can't coach and discipline someone who's already making so much money. Yeah, like yeah. the college kids, they still need to get that back. So they're fear, they're like they're fearing for their future, right? So mm. that's why that he gets listened to. It he loves coaching them because they always listen. Yeah, bro. There's this um, this is movie called I think it's called a Bronx Tale. Oh, I, I yeah, I've seen that. You seen it? Yeah, yeah. So you know that one scene where the boss goes, you see all these people? I see. Yeah, there's clips on it. He's like, you think they love me? <laughs> like love only love only lasts so long because they can love you, but they can kill you. But it's man. not as it's not as powerful as them fearing you. Yes, 100%. It won't last as long. 100%. But if they fear you, that's kind of forever. Like, you'll always live in that in their head like that. Yeah. But if they love you, you know, maybe they'll pop in once in a while. Everyone loves you, so. I mean, there's a lot of people that can love you, but fear, like, mm. you'll always remember that. So I guess it's a balance. And I think that's what he said in it. Like, it's a balance of, like, fear and love. Okay, now check this out. <laughs> it's a balance of fear and love, right? Uh, Do you fear love? Do I fear love? Hmm. No. Because I think it's how I was raised. Because I've got enough love that... Oh, wait. Hold on. Because I, I have gone through my, my heartbreaks. But at the same time, it's like... I don't... Tru truly, my, my, my uh, relationship right now, I wasn't scared to go. You know? I wasn't scared to wear my heart on my sleeve, you know? Like, if it happens, it happens. I fear love. You fear love? I straight up, like, I fear love. Really? But in this sense, like... Mm. I, f I fear love because I feel like love will be so powerful that you will have to do things that are fearful. Mm. You get me? So, for example, would you die for your parents because you love them? Yeah, yeah. Are you afraid of dying? Yeah, but for my parents, I w I probably, there's no hesitation. I would still be scared. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm fearful of what love will take me to. Mm, oh, Because okay. I love I something I so it. much, I will do everything for mm. it. Like, even, let's say... Uh, an activity, a sport, like yeah, you yeah. love something so much that you'll push your body to it. Mm. Like you can, you can pretty much say UFC fighters, they love the sport so much that they, they trade their body for it, right? Yeah. Same sense. So I guess it's, do you think it's good to fear love? I guess it, I guess it is good, but at the same time, fuck. Okay. Do you love fear? It's the opposite. I don't love fear. I can say that. I, I don't like fear. Fear is it's one thing I definitely all my life I, I, I worked on. But I think if you love fear, you that, love, yeah, that makes you the the most powerful person. Yeah, I know it does. It does. If you love fear, yeah. How? Because obviously you were born from it, but like, what, from your childhood, like you know the the little events that kept you from uh, what do you call this? From not fearing it no more. Like what what did you do? You just did it. Like you just went out and, and did shit that you feared. I feel like that's not. You know when something's like super sour. This is the best way I can put it. Okay. You know when something's like super, super sour and like you don't want to put it in your mouth and like do that face like yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, already, yeah. Before it's even in your mouth. Yeah. And then when you actually have it, it's sour as fuck and it kind of hurts, mm. but then it becomes sweet. Mm. And you know that feeling like when you jump into a pool and it's cold as shit, but then you but after it gets like blissful? Yeah, yeah. I try to find like moments of, let's say something I don't want to do, mm. that even if it be like homework, yeah. like I really don't want to do homework. I jump in, like, I jump into it, and I try to find that, like, bliss. the bliss side. Yeah, that makes sense. That's what I try to do. Yeah. Even if something's, like, it's, it's so painful, I always I was thinking to myself, okay, I'm going to do it, and I'll, I'll try to find something there. Mm. But there's some shit that, there's no bliss, fam. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, it's a lesson, you know what I mean? Yeah, this, at the same time, there's a lesson. But fam, there's some shit that doesn't have that. I swear to God, bro. And it just builds character. That's all it does. That's all it does, fam. It, it, it just it just solidifies your thoughts on something. <laughs> like what? Like what? Give me I, I'm example. not going to like get into it. <laughs> no, give me But there's some shit I'm like... Oh, no. Nah, I don't want to say it. I don't even want to say it. But, yeah. okay, for example, um, let's say like a class. Okay. Like, 
I know it's hard. I'm going to try it. But Fuck, this, <laughs> this shit is hard, but you still fail. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're going to have a calculus? Shit. Don't even talk to me on calculus, bro. <laughs> That's actually insane. That's perfect, though. You know what I mean? Calculus, fuck. This is actually just all ass. This is, there's no good. Yeah, you know. But yeah, like unless you're really about it. Yeah, yeah. Facts, facts, facts. But that's a true say. Because what if it's not even um, what if it's not even about liking calculus. It's about the actual activity of learning. Mm, yeah, yeah. You don't so like learning. Yeah. That's the. That's the one you're tackling is is learning rather than learning something. Yeah, yeah, that's right? true. That's like what Emson said. Yo, there's always like a, a deeper. Mm-hmm. It's like not nah, maybe you just don't like you can learn calculus. It's just you don't like to learn. Exactly, you don't like to <laughs> yeah. learn that way. Maybe you like to learn something else. Facts, facts. Right? Yeah, bro. Honestly, and the more you start to think about these things, and the more that you you put into practice, mm-hmm. your life changes, fam. Yeah, yeah. and that's how like. I became to to be how I am and how I'm I'm like learning myself. Yeah, like those skinny mans that become bodybuilders. You can switch it up anytime. It's just mindset. No, but it's fucking work though. Yeah, I feel like a work. lot of people don't realize this. Like, shit is hard work, bro. Yeah. If you wanna if you wanna be up to like a, a mental stature as somebody you you look up to, mm-hmm. don't think like oh it's gonna be easy, fam. Like, yeah. there's shit takes pain. It takes like actual trial challenge. And then those are the things that make it. It's not it's not you being there and and being comfortable doing it. It's the shit that was hard to do that you overcome this it what made you. Yeah. It's not fine. what you can do easy now. It's what was hard to do first yeah. that made you, you know? And if you want to keep evolving, you just keep taking those tasks like everyone harder and harder. Yeah, real you know shit, I mean? real shit. Yeah, bro. I will end it there. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of the Jumper Jump Podcast. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Sir, make sure to go to Apple, Spotify. Keep downloading these episodes. We love you guys, man. And yeah, go check out Gavin's brand. He's going to drop these uh, polos. No, I'm not. You're not? <laughs> no. You're these, not dropping these? These are exclusive, man. I, I don't drop, so you guys get jealous. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, just, just, just keep just, an eye just, out. Just, <laughs> But my tote bags are down in the description <laughs> below. If you guys want to buy my tote bags, go ahead and cop that. Yes, sir. All right, jump and jump out. Deuces. <laughs>